Well, I wonder whether we should start with um, maybe some definitions. Um, so, Stu, what does what does software-defined networking mean to you, from a technology standpoint? Yeah, software-defined networking is a the ability, I believe, to uh, remove the control plane and the mechanisms by which uh, routes are determined or paths are determined in the network and put that into uh, what I'll call centralized control, not literally central, and more uh, distributed in data centers, but pulled out from the devices so that the devices really become forwarding engines. And in that framework, we can use uh, dedicated engines that we have today, routers, switches, as long as they have the appropriate control plane uh, protocols. Uh, we can also talk about virtual switches, open flow switches. Uh, we're not confined to one technology in this sort of framework. We can have multiple technologies doing the forwarding, but a common way to control them and administer uh, what gets routed where. And Joe, would, uh, d d does that definition kind of chime with your way of thinking, or do you have a slightly different spin on it? Absolutely, and I think from, from our standpoint, from Ericsson, we're extending the definition of SDN, service provider SDN, to incorporate or cater the requirements of telcos. Uh, we believe it has to be extended in a way where you have an abstracted control plane embedded in a network connected, connected to all uh, elements in the network and to data centers, private clouds, and tie it in with OSS, BSS, specifically for analytics. Uh, of course, on top of it, um, service uh, exposure for APIs and to deliver an excellent end user experience. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I mean, at Metaswitch, we think of the control plane as needing to, to, to be much more than the control plane that currently exists embedded in switches and routers. Uh, it needs to abstract away a lot of the complexity of the network, and it definitely needs to be much more open, um, exposing APIs so that applications can demand things of the network that uh, at the moment they're just not able to do. I mean, over the top layers have been leading the way uh, in developing services and APIs, and we see big movement. They want to get into the network functionality today to be able to, to provide this kind of services in an easier way than they have been able to do it uh, before, such as IMS and, and, and others. So you're really talking about service velocity and, and uh, a more direct connection between the, s the service needs and the provisioning of those services into the network versus sort of the step function way we do it today of provisioning the different layers of the network, you know, eventually getting up to tying a customer's service mm. to that. Um, that changes not just, you know, that's SDN, but that also puts a, a tremendous change, I think, on the whole operational paradigm, the systems and the way we manage networks. And uh, both of you are from uh, companies that provide equipment and services solutions into the carrier market. I mean, how do you think about uh, that change in operational paradigm as it surrounds your products? I mean, if you, if you look today, and it's why we extend the definition to service provider network because we believe, to your point, we, we want to look at the existing assets and the network elements that you have today. I mean, a lot of things happening at the end today. It's an exciting uh, movement in the industry, but then we have to take two steps back, how we do it step-by-step -step function, specifically with telcos that have been around for many years, you know, with great assets. So the, our vision in the space is to move from what we have today, if you take for instance, there are so many use cases, but if we can take a couple of them today, if you look at the transport network, you have today, a lot of us in the industry, I think we've done a good job by optimizing each and every box uh, by itself. And, you know, these boxes, obviously, it's, if we look at where the industry is going, we're gonna have billions of connections soon. Uh, our vision is 50 billion connection by 2020. Uh, it's very complex today to scale with the existing you know, way of building networks. And on top of it, it's extremely hard to manage it. Mm. So what we are saying, you know, to your point, is we take two steps back and look at the existing assets that you have today. What we would need to do is, instead of using these assets as control and forward plane, split the architecture on the existing nodes and use, the, use them as forward plane and have an SDN controller as centralized control plane. Yeah. And one could argue that, of course, the existing vendors have to open up these, these uh, network elements, and they will have to uh, let 
you know, uh, upgrade the, the, these, these uh, elements, you know, to this architecture. Uh, we build our, our products with SDN OpenFlow in mind, and I think we could move to that space uh, today.